So 9.2 here, let's determine f prime of x if f of x is equals to uh, 3x multiplied by uh, the square root of x minus 4. I don't know about you, but uh, it's very hard to multiply with the square root, right? It's better if we just write it as uh, to the power 1 over 2. So f of x, uh, we can write it as 3x uh, multiplied by x to the power half minus uh, 4, right? So now we can uh, further simplify. If we further simplify, we're going to get uh, 3x, right? We know that there's always a 1 here, right? So that will be 1 plus 1. So that will be 1 and a half, which you can write just uh, 3 divided by 2 minus uh, 3 multiplied by 4. That is 12. So we have 12 x right so now we can then use the power rule to solve this uh what is the power rule again just to remind you if uh, we have some function um k x to the n right then if you derivate that uh you should get uh k multiplied by n multiplied by x to the n minus one right uh k being the coefficient of uh, our x right so let's use the power rule there and see what happens so we have f prime of x uh being equals to so we're going to have three multiplied by three divided by two uh multiplied by x to the power three divided by two minus one and then let's apply the same to 12 x we're going to have minus 12 multiply by 1 and then multiply by x to the 1 minus 1 right so this will be equals to so we have 3 multiplied by 3 divided by 2 3 multiplied by 3 uh, that is 9 if we divide it by 2 we just get 9 divided by 2 right and then now we have x so we have 3 to the power 3 divided by 2 minus 1 right so that will be uh, a half and then minus so we have x to the power 1 minus 1. Any number to the power 0 is 1, right? So we're just going to get uh, minus 12. And that looks like um, we have solved our problem. Let's do uh, 9.2.2. So 9.2.2, see, let's find uh, dy, uh, dx, if uh, y is equals to x cube minus 4x uh, divided by 2 minus x <laughs> this one is a bit complicated right but let's see what uh, we can do let's take x as a common factor on the numerator right so we're going to get y is equals to uh, x and then we're left with x squared minus 4 divided by 2 minus x and wait a minute now we have a difference of uh two squares right so we can factorize that so we're gonna have y is equals to x and then uh now we have um we have x minus two multiplied by x plus two right and then we divide in everything by two minus x but then uh our denominator here 2 minus x if we take minus as a common factor right we're gonna have y is equals to x multiplied by x minus 2 multiplied by x plus 2 uh, everything divided by minus we're taking minus as a common factor right so we should get um plus x right plus x minus 2 so now you should be able to see that x minus 2 and then x minus 2 uh, they cancel out so now we're going to be left with y is equals to uh, x multiplied by x that will be x squared right uh, this and this here and then uh, there we're going to have plus 2x right and then we divide in by minus 1 so y should be equals to minus x squared minus 2x right and then now uh we can use the power rule if we use the power rule we're gonna get y is equals to uh minus 2x to the 2 minus 1 uh minus 2x um so we multiply in by 1 here for the sake of clarity let me just write it down right and then 1 minus 1 so here we're gonna get uh minus 2x 
and then any number to the power zero is one. So we just have minus two X minus two. 